Here we have a rod with a rope going over it and a weight hanging off one side and it being pulled on the other side. Now this force P is the minimum force needed to keep this weight, this 20 kilogram weight from starting to move downwards. And what we need to do is we need to find the force P needed to start pulling the weight up. And that's what we're going over in this video. If you want a video explaining frictional forces on belts and ropes and explaining these equations, you can click on this video link and that'll take you to another one of my videos. And if you find this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe. So the first thing we want to do is we need to see which force, which force P or from the weight is going to be T1 or T2. Now remember that um, T2 is going to be in the direction of impending motion. Now that's kind of confusing here with a force P pulling down this way, but you also have the weight pulling down this way. But the um, description of the problem kind of gives us a clue to that, that, that this weight or this force P is the minimum force needed to keep this 20 kilogram weight from moving downwards. So um, that kind of indicates that the direction of impending motion is downwards this way. But one thing we can check is whether the P of 25 newtons is bigger or smaller than the force pulling down of gravity. So we need to convert that into from a mass to a force. So that would be 20 times by 9.81 and that equals 196.2 newtons. So that is the force of gravity or that is gravity pulling down on that weight. So this is bigger than the 25 newtons and we know that T2 is always bigger than T1 so therefore this is going to be T2 in this case and then this is going to be T1. Now the other thing we can label while we are figuring out variables this is this is beta ugly beta but this from the picture we can tell that this rope is going around at two and a half times and remember that beta is measured in radians so um, two and a half revolutions would be 2.5 times by 2 pi and that comes out to be 5 pi so beta is 5 pi and now the only thing left in this equation that we need to find out is mu which is the coefficient of static friction because in this case we're not moving the rope isn't sliding along that rod so we are going to use this equation and remember this these two equations are the same they're just in different forms and so using this equation we have the ln of t2 divided by t1 which is 196.2 divided by 25 and all that divided by beta, which is 5 pi, equals mu, the coefficient of static friction. And solving that out, we are just going to label that up here. Plugging this into your calculator, you get that mu is 0 0.131. So now that we've found that, we can readjust so that this force P is no longer going to be T1, but rather T2. It is going to be the minimum force needed to start pulling this weight up. So direction of impending motion will be that P is downwards, and that means P in this case is T2, and that's what we need to solve for. So T2, which equals P, and it's no longer going to be 25 newtons, that is going to equal T1, which this time it's going to be the 20 times by 9.81, which was 
0.2 multiplied by e to the 0.131 multiplied by 5 pi. So plugging that into your calculator and you end up getting that P, the force needed to start pulling this rope up, is 1,539.4 newtons. So that is a lot bigger force than the 25 newtons needed to just hold this weight up. And that is because of all the friction force involved with this rope wrapping around this pole. So that is how you solve that and that's how you use those equations. If you have any questions about that, leave them down in the comments and I'll respond to them. If you have any suggestions, you can also leave those down in the comments. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. And down in the description, I've got some links to Amazon and Teespring where you can buy some merch from Student Engineering like this shirt. I put the Student Engineering logo on shirts, hoodies, mugs, and stickers, and other things. And buying that helps me out a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer of Student Engineering. And my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.